This is not the video that I planned on making for you today, but we've got a boer goat in labor. So I'm just up here at the milk house. I'm gonna get an emergency birthing kit and we're gonna go down. So I've got some little um, pads here, puppy pads that the babies can come out on and um, hopefully keep them a little free of bacteria. I've got some gloves. I've got some iodine and a little dip cup for their navel right here. I've got some scissors. I cannot find my surgical clamp, so we're just going to have to go with that because I don't have time. And then I've got a towel um, to help dry them off with. So I think, oh, and some molasses for mom so we can get her some warm molasses to drink after she has her babies. So I can't find that clamp, so let's just head down to the Boer Barn and let's help Sissy um, have her babies. girl not too late am I and I forgot my hair tie so we're just gonna farm girl it and wrap it with a little piece of bailing twine so um, she acted like she was really hungry so I went up and got her some food and she started screaming her head off when I left um, because she's dramatic but her ligaments around our, her tail are completely loose. So I can put, put my fingers all the way around that tail ligament. She's got a lot of mucus coming out. So I would not be surprised if she has her babies within the next, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. And then I already mixed some molasses. Um, I've got her water bucket off screen here. Um, and whenever she starts pushing, I'm going to get my gloves on, Leia. I grabbed three because I'm super hopeful that she has three kids. <laughs> and I want all girls. So I grabbed three of these, four maybe. Um, and then just as soon as she starts pushing, I am going to unwrap the puppy pads, lay them down, hopefully catch that baby, get it all dried off and um, make sure everybody survives. So we'll make sure the mouths are cleared and everything's good. Huh, scissors? I'm ready whenever you are. All right, it has been all day. And I think she is finally ready. She's been holding her poor little tail up all day and hunching up all day. So this is her first kidding. And so I think she just was not sure what was going on. She's probably having labor pains all day. But I think she's ready because her mucus now has a pink tinge to it, so. Yeah, I knew that was a big old boy. 
I knew that was a big old boy. Good mama. One big old pretty massive boy. Yeah. That's a big one. You got any more? You got another baby in there? That's a big one. <laughs> Alright, we've got baby number two. Okay, another baby. <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> Looks like a little girl to me. Yeah, sounds like a little girl to me. That's what it sounds like. Good job. Good looking. Come back in the morning. Good. Nice fresh straw. Take care of those umbilical cords. We'll come back in the morning and check on you guys. We finished kidding about midnight last night. I got to bed. I woke up at 5.30. I went down and checked on the babies about 6. Everybody was nice and warm. Um, baby boy was doing great. I'm not sure that the little girl got a lot of um, colostrum, so I did milk out mom. I gave her about 3 ounces. Still a little wobbly on the back legs, um, so I grabbed some vitamin B and some selenium paste. And so we're just gonna give her a little bit of oral vitamin B and see if that helps kind of perk her up a little bit. So I've got all the milking done, all the Nigerian chores done. And so let's head down to the Boer Barn and um, spend a little time with the babies. All right, so we have a little back leg weakness in our baby girl. I'm gonna give her a little oral vitamin B, a little bit of selenium, and I will then give her a little bit more milk. All right, mom is over there eating. So I didn't want to disturb her, but I just milked her out real quick. Give this baby some nice colostrum. There you go. You gotta do it though. I can't just put it down your mouth. We're so warm. We're so warm and toasty together, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, you're hungry, huh? You're hungry, huh? Is that vitamin meat B making you hungry? Come on. I know it's not the same as mommy, but it is mommy's milk. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. You're doing it yourself. You're a big girl. So little Fella and Mom are doing great. So I'm going to go ahead and milk her out a little bit more. And then I'm going to take... Thank you, Sissy. I'm going to bring little Miss here back to the house. So she can stay nice and warm. And I can give her B 
um, as needed. <coughs> I know, but guess what? You're just gonna come into the house for just a little bit. All right, so that's almost seven ounces. That's more than enough to get her going for about half the day. So I'll just let little boy and mommy be down here. Um, and then I'm gonna take her inside, keep her nice and warm. So we brought her in the house, gave her another CC of vitamin B and she's trying to stand. So I'll let her get nice and warm till she's walking around and then we'll put her back out with mommy. All right, so I just gave her another, I gave her two bills of selenium vitamin E gel and I gave her two cc's of vitamin B. So I think that's, I think that's gonna help. I'll let her get warm and then see if she can have some more more food and then go back down with mom. You can get that foot under there, there you go. Good. Yep, good. Thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe.